Hey guys, uh, so in this video we are going to talk about how I got three scholarships from Udacity in my college life. So if you want to like gain a free scholarship from Udacity, then keep watching. So let us talk about what is Udacity. So Udacity is basically a education platform where you can get free courses, paid courses as well as nano degrees which you can like go ahead and like study, make a job out of it or like gain valuable skills from it. So Udacity basically gives you a platform where you can like go and uh, increase your skill level, uh, learn new skills. So this is what Udacity, Udacity does and uh, why am I telling you this because I myself have got three scholarships from Udacity in my college life and uh, the scholarships were uh, namely so the first scholarship which I got was a Microsoft Azure machine learning scholarship from Udacity and this is basically a scholarship for uh, they teach you machine learning in that and also the Microsoft Azure basics in that and uh, the, how scholarships work is basically they give uh, you a free course for four to five months and then they like uh, pick out around 300 students from that and the 300 students picked out from that will get uh, will get a free nano degree and a nano degree in Udacity uh, costs around like 1 lakh rupees so it is a great platform to you uh, participate in a scholarship and also achieve it. The second scholarship which I got was Nutanix Hybrid Cloud Scholarship. So this scholarship was basically for the cloud professionals and also the people who were starting with cloud uh, basics and this scholarship also taught me about uh, cloud basics, how to use them, how to like deploy cloud, how to like uh, manipulate data with cloud. So this was a great uh, learning experience for me. Number third, number third was the Intel Edge AI scholarship. So this scholarship basically taught me fundamentals of artificial intelligence. Uh, for example, CNN, RNN, deep learning techniques. And this also combines the uh, fundamentals with the uh, Intel uh, core processor. And they also teach you like how you can build machine learning models and then deploy them in the, uh, like for example, uh, hardware. How you can deploy machine learning uh, software in hardware. So these are the three uh, scholarships I got. And in the next, uh, section I am going to talk about like how you can gain scholarship from Udacity. Another major update guys, uh, Udacity has collaborated with Zeus uh, which is an open source contributor and it is also offering a new uh, cloud native program scholarship which has opened just yesterday in uh, on April 6 and the applications are open till May and uh, uh, why you should do this scholarship because they will teach you number one cloud native number two cloud native architecture and number three you will join a slack channel so slack channel is basically a channel or a group of community uh, where you join and there are a lot of people in it there are mentors in it there are previous employees in it and they share various resources from where they're learning the cloud native archite architecture so hi guys i'm on the cloud native uh, scholarship program and this is how you apply to a scholarship so before applying uh, just go below here and check if you want to learn a cloud native architecture cloud native architecture join the slack channel and i will also show you how it works so basically the applications will be accepted between uh, april 6th and the may 25th so once application occurs so 15000 uh, people will be given the scholarship and you have to dedicate around 3 to 5 hours but you have to i think dedicate more than this so to qualify for an anonymity scholarship so to qualify for here after the 15,000 applicants have like uh, done the project uh, 300 seats will be given to the cloud native uh, application architecture here which is an intermediate course so this will uh, this is uh, this is a course basically for a new cloud native career so only apply if you are interested in the cloud native uh, section or the architecture so let me go ahead and apply so you just click on apply now a new admission page will be opened here and this is the part of the scholarship the background information prerequisite your goals for example i go to the edit one you just have to this is a basic process here and uh, like this if you're doing a bachelor's degree master's degree and current job title here if you have a professional experience and how many hours can you dedicate here so after filling all this you click on continue but i will click on previous to take you to the next uh, part here so the prerequisite knowledge is 
basically they are testing the knowledge of a python programmer here so like uh, select the option which best suits you so guys do not select an option just to get the scholarship because after getting the scholarship you will not be able to do the projects because uh, of the familiarity with the python programming they are asking so if you are a basic programmer i mean if they do not accept you so like do not like get disheartened because uh, they only accept who like can solve actual python uh, programming projects and uh, second question is what describes your uh, git and github proficiency also here and uh, you have to read your knowledge here so th these basically uh, like tell you to read your knowledge according to yourself only and the last part here would be okay this is the previous page last part is the post part so this is the part which actually um, uh, indicates whether you are fit for the program or not so these are the two questions what do you uh, hope to accomplish through this program and uh, why you should receive a scholarship so guys do not copy paste from google here because they already know what answers uh, they are expecting so write just like uh, uh, do not copy paste right through your heart what you are feeling about it and uh, why you should receive a scholarship right uh, the exact like mean thing why you should receive a scholarship here and after previous uh, after like um just a second let's go back after filling these three parts additional questions you have to do like for example these check boxes and type the name here and just click on continue so after clicking on continue um you just uh, your audacity scholarship uh, form will be sent to audacity and the results will be coming uh, once the deadline is closed so the deadline is still may 25 so you have a lot of time so you can work on your projects you can work on your english level skills and then um yeah you will able you will be able to crack it if you like have the knowledge of cloud native you will be able to um, go to the intermediate nano degree also and trust me guys the nano degree will be worth it because uh, it is a log nano degree and it basically uh, consists of all the projects of the uh, latest like uh, latest things going right now so this was it so this is how you apply for a cloud native or udacity scholarship so this is it for the video guys um agar video pasand aaye ho to like kar dena and if you have any questions uh, you can contact me on my social media handles below and uh, is video ke liye itna hi milte hain next video mein bye bye